Today we're going to do a check of this uh, Henry 3K Ultra. I've got my shack kind of torn apart. Uh, right now we're rebuilding it, but uh, I'll go ahead and do the tests on this. We're going to run uh, uh, we're going to run the the uh, 7800 through it. Uh, right now we're going to test it with about 60 watts. Check one, two, check 70 watts, 65 or so. I'm going to check it with that first. Uh, the really cool thing about these amps are they're uh, instant on. Uh, the amplifier is on, it's ready to go. Uh, looking at the voltage at about 5,000 volts here. And uh, we're going to hit it with this 70 watts to start with and see what happens here. Uh, check, one, two, check. Check, one, two, check. We're going to hit it with the pecker. I'm running an uh, iMate uh, into it. It's got the little pecker amp in it. And uh, uh, it's on right now. It's running about 1,800 watts. We're running into an alpha. Uh, 2100 dummy load right there and uh, we're going to turn the power output up to about 100 watts right here uh, that's about 100 watts input there we'll turn the amp off just to verify that uh, take it a second shows 103 watts right there uh, there's 103 watts into it you can see it's about 2200 watts out and uh, we'll turn up just a little bit more these things are rated about 125 watts uh, we'll go ahead and turn on up to, uh, let's see, about 125 watts or so right there. It's 127, 117. That'll be close enough, about 120 watts. Go ahead and turn the amp on here. It takes it a second to, uh, to hit this thing. It's about 2,500 watts uh, into the pecker, and that's actually not uh, tuned at high power. There's quite a bit of difference between the amplifier when it's uh, tuned at low power and when it's tuned at high. Um, so uh, that's with uh, uh, without tuning it into the high power side, uh, about 2,500 watts. KC5 TJT. Thanks a lot.